So today, before we came in here, Tom came to me and said, Russell, we need to go in the video room. I got something I want to show you. Welcome in to another What the Truck Wednesday. I'm Russell, and this is Han Solo. And today, we're going to show you a spacecraft. Yes. It's Tom. These are parts that... <laughs> I have set aside in my own secret stash. There's a corner of the store here, and I just pile stuff up. Yeah. Cover it with a blanket and hope Russell doesn't see it. I, I saw his box like growing. It went I, down I, I, I knew I knew what it was. I knew what you were doing, but like stockpiling. <laughs> I didn't ask any questions. But I did I did buy half of it and take it home. This is the second half. I have to break it up into chunks because it's getting expensive. But um, so anyway, let me go into the story of these parts. So what I do. I have some old cars, and in my garage on one of my workbenches, I have three boxes, and one is labeled 59 Rambler, the next one, 73 Lincoln, and the last one, 92 Pathfinder. So today, obviously, we're going to focus on the 92 Pathfinder parts that I have been ordering in and stockpiling, and um, let's just dive right into it. Let's do it. All right, so the first item that I put in this box of mine is consumables. Right, and these are items that I know for a fact are going to be wearing out, like spark plugs, cap, rotor, plug wire. These are things I know that I'm definitely going to need. Um, fuel filter, um, just stuff like that that you know eventually you're going to need to replace. And OEM is best, and I get a good price here, so yeah, that's some of the stuff. I'm going to. And I didn't bring any of those in here because we all know what a fuel filter looks like and a spark plug looks like. Uh, the next stuff that I put in here is parts that are going to leave the car dead in the water if they fail. Yeah. Right? That could be fuel injectors, water pump, relays, ignition switch, fuel pump. Um, for the lack of space I just brought in... What fusible is that? Fusible link. A fusible link. I got a black... There you go. Can you see that? Yep. Russell put a good picture up there. Yeah. So this is a cheap part, but if I'm out on a trail somewhere and this fails and I have to spend three to five hundred dollars for a tow over a part that I could have just had a little box yeah. in the back of my rig. So that is stuff that I'm stockpiling because OEM is best again and um, I just don't want to get stuck anywhere. And stuff like that, you you can you can bet if you keep it long enough, you're probably gonna need it. Yeah. Yeah, you can look at them. You can tell when they're getting old. Yeah. Um, what else is on that list? Oh, a neutral safety switch. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right? If that fails <laughs> and you're not aware of it, you'd be like, well, why isn't it starting? Mm -hmm. I'm stepping on my clutch. It's not doing nothing. Um, you know, stuff like that. Now, the last things are the, is the fun stuff. It's stuff that is discontinued, low availability. It's discontinued, but Nissan still has a few parts. Or stuff that's just plain cool to have. Yeah. Right. So the first thing up is my wiper switch. This works, uh, I believe it only works on Pathfinders and early D21s. This is discontinued. I got the last one, so neener, neener. Yeah. <laughs> um, next up is the headlight switch. These uh, are super cool looking. Yeah. Just really, you can tell early, the, Kind of the early makings of this product. Yeah, like analog yeah. switch, yeah. very mechanical. And they made a few different ones because uh, on the Pathfinders that are uh, equipped with cruise control, it's a whole different switch and looks mm -hmm. different. But I don't have to worry about cruise control, and that's just one more thing to break. Yeah. Uh, but very cool switch. Those are readily available. They worked on D21, uh, WD21, obviously, also on B12 Centras. Oh, nice. And T12 Stanzas. Okay. Um, what's up next? These right here, nobody will ever see these, but they're kind of cool. Mm -hmm. These are your bump stops on your front uh, steering arms. Yep. And uh, I got underneath the vehicle the other day and had to look, and one was missing, and the other one was dinged up. So I wanted them to be perfect. Nice. I'm not going to put them on, yeah. but I'll have them if I yep. ever get around to it, if I have a free minute on a Saturday. Um, this one right here. Now, my Pathfinder, I bought it from the original owner, super low mileage, it's super clean. And if I ever sell it, I wanna make sure stuff is primo. 
So this right here. Yes. Is. I was not expecting that. No. Nope. come out of that giant box. It's just really long. I know, I get that a lot. <laughs> you set me up, dude. So this is the driver's side um, seat belt buckle. And yeah. you know, these get old. If you know Nissan plastics, if they get sun on them, they get kind of chalky. Chalky. Uh, you know, you're stabbing at it with the, the belt buckle and you get it all scratched up. Yeah. So I just bought this. I think this is, I think these are on back order. Nissan says they can still get them. They were available in all different colors. My interior is blue. I was lucky I was able to find a blue one. Yeah. Um, and this is just something that I'm keeping aside. If I ever decide to sell the vehicle and it looks like crap, I'll just pop this in there. Yeah. All right. And finally, this is a part that I'm excited about this. I, and I see. I didn't see any of this stuff before we came in here today. So um, I don't know what this gigantic box is. He. Had. I mean, it's, it's big, big box for all the stuff he brought in here. So it looks like it would have a big panel air filter in it or something. Right. So. so um, this is a part which I might never need, mm -hmm. but if you stockpile stuff, I know you're trying to read the label. If I did read the label and I still don't know what it is. So, you know, if you're stockpiling stuff, if you sell your vehicle, these parts are never gonna go down in price. They're only gonna go up. <laughs> if you've got something rare, yeah. right, we're talking investments. So let's open this thing up. We were talking about how funny it would be if I open this up and it's broken. <laughs> Hopefully it's not, because. My gosh. Now, I was shocked to see that these are still available, and they're still available in big numbers. No way. Is that what I think it is? What? I know what it is. I know what it is, because I saw the cable right there sticking out wild. Is this what I wanted? <laughs> Let's open this up. I'm not sure that this, this is, is exactly wrong, what I wanted. This is the wrong part. Let's see. It's going to be cool nonetheless, whatever it is. digging into the, the Nissan actually put some bubble wrap on it. They did. That's a that's different. Somebody at Nissan got let go 10 years ago because they were using bubble wrap on parts. Oh dude check that out. What in the world? So this is this is what I was expecting. So this is your heater switch with cables attached for all your ducts. That's a mess. I mean I might never need this but it was cheap enough <laughs> Could you imagine the nightmare that would be to install with all those yes. cables? But yeah, so there you go. This one has your switch in it and all your cables That's for your heater controls. Super cool though. Like, yeah. And Nissan has tons of these and they're cheap. Now, I looked this up in the aftermarket. You can't get them from Napa, but they want $300 for them. Do you remember off offhand how much this one was? It was barely over 100 bucks. Wow. Yeah. So it was like, I can't pass this up. So my logic is this, if I ever sell my Pathfinder and I've got a big tote full of cool OEM parts, it's either gonna sweeten the deal or I can just sell this stuff on eBay because it'll be right. long discontinued by the time I'm ready to sell it. Right. So that's that. Cool. WD21 guys, definitely get at us if you need some parts because there's obviously things available. There's things that, that we don't even think about. Yeah. I mean, there's stuff that's discontinued, but like there, from time to time, um, we've been this week we've been working on inventory stuff, and Tom had on one of his bin count sheets that you know I think you had a turn signal or something you had looked at, you counted over there, you mm -hmm. wrote on there D21, and you know that's the kind of stuff that like we don't even think about sitting on the shelf, and there it is, it's just sitting here waiting on you, on you guys. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah. So leave a comment if you have. A part that you're thinking about, and you're like, you know what? On my Xterra or my Pathfinder, or my D21, or whatever truck you have, yeah. leave a comment and say, hey, can you guys get this? And we'll look it up for you. If you have a long list, email us, and then I'll spend the time going through it um, to see what we can get for you. If you're gonna send me a long list, please send me your VIN number. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely let us know. I, I, I really like. I mean, some some of the things that Tom went over, great ideas for you guys if you're picking up a car or looking for a used one. Um, in the comment, you enter weekly giveaway. Mm -hmm. Let's do the weekly giveaway winner real quick before I forget. Okay. Um, Mix 180. Um, Mix 180 said that they were going to go get a sunroof and weld it into their S13 because they want a sunroof. Wow, that's so I, good I, for you, I, man. I commented and said I didn't want to undo that, but um, good luck. Um, reach out to us and we will 
uh, get you hooked up. And also, Ed, Edgar, I see you got Ed, Edgar yeah. Magana wrote right there. Mm -hmm. I did, I'm not ignoring you. I am going to get to you as soon as we're done. Um, hopefully, you'll hear from me by the time you see this video. Um, been well behind. And if you hear the sawing, it's part of my it's construction, being construction behind. Zone right <laughs> the flooring's almost done. It's looking good. Yeah. Um, I do have a few shout outs for a change. Yes. Um, Edgar Magana. Uh, was it last week we asked, what can we hang on this big blank space on the wall? Yeah. So Edgar, he said, how about showcasing parts from the videos, which is a really good idea. Yeah. Um, XD Derek said, put a big print of a car up there. It's a good idea, too. I, I actually really like that one, and I think that um, I actually just had a conversation with our GM about getting some, some custom sort of one-off prints made okay. for the store. That'd be cool. So, yeah. And um, Colin Walker, he says that Watt the Truck Wednesday is the reason he wants to add a D21 to his collection. So that's a, that's a good compliment. It means that we're doing a good job at yeah. uh, getting people excited. Um, I've got a couple ideas for that blank space. Yes. This is just my dream ideal uh, wall covering. Okay. Either a Datsun or a Nissan tailgate covered with Nissan Part CC stickers. Okay. Right? Yeah. Or even better... And we've been talking about this for a long time. Just a TV up there showing motorsports videos. Yeah. Yeah. That's. I think that's like the, the solution. That's it. That's I the think one. I, that would be it. A bit, um, and it shouldn't be that hard to do. It isn't. But you know. You know the tape. The red tape. But you know what happened? So we talked. Some people commented about this when we mentioned the flooring. Is it we mentioned, we mentioned that in a video. And the next week they're in here putting down new floors. So, you know, if we could have an 80 inch TV, maybe an Xbox or two or 12, a racing simulator, um, a monster energy drink fridge for Tom. Nice. Be let's, awesome. Let's go, um, check writers. Let's do this. <laughs> and that is it. That's the secret. You put it out there in the universe and yeah. you manifest these amazing things and I mean, they do happen. Sometimes that is true, though. Sometimes you need to say it out loud and then it, then it sticks with you. You hold yourself accountable and you make it happen. Yeah. So, but yeah. Uh, We've probably drawn this out long enough, guys, so... No way, it's never long enough. Friday... <laughs> Friday! We're gonna have another video. Friday's but, gonna be amazing. Yeah. If you thought this video was good... Friday's gonna be off the chain, as yeah. the kids say. That's it. Hump day! <laughs> Come back, see us on Friday. Leave a comment. I'm leaving. And be good to each other. Bye. Listen to these new floors, I can tap dance on them.